Welcome back to the FM Home Lab channel. Today we're going to look at the last uh, section in the radio, which is the FM uh, detector, uh, just uh, before it uh, is uh, uh, providing the signal to the stereo uh, amplifier. Uh, this uh, FM detector is a very simple uh, uh, detector which is uh, based on the concept of slope detection which is uh, very well uh, described on the, on the internet at uh, several places. The slope uh, detection is, uh, uh, is uh, done uh, here. This is uh, the incoming uh, signal with a frequency of intermediate frequency of uh, 10.6 uh, megahertz. Uh, the slope detection is uh, done on this uh, uh, in fact, this is a bandpass uh, filter, uh, which is um, with a center frequency of uh, 10.7 megahertz. The, because the uh, intermediate frequency is uh, just outside the, uh, the pass band for the bandpass uh, filter, it is uh, uh, centered on the slope of this uh, filter. Uh, so. Um, uh, that uh, makes the discrimination between the uh, different uh, frequencies in the frequency modulated uh, signal. Uh, after uh, that, this we have got a um, signal which is uh, and FM and uh, AM modulated, which is uh, being amplified uh, somewhat um, by this uh, very simple uh, uh, amplifier. In the amplifier, there is a feedback uh, channel. Um, uh, in the actual implementation of this uh, circuit, all these uh, resistors are uh, made by uh, by variable uh, resistors, by uh, potentiometers, uh, to uh, play uh, somewhat with uh, bias and with the feedback and the amplification. Uh, but uh, the actual values at uh, this moment are as uh, written uh, uh, beside the uh, resistors. Uh, this uh, part of the circuit is the AM modulation uh, with a, a very simple uh, standard uh, uh, circuit. The last uh, step is a uh, audio uh, transformer which uh, provides a signal to the uh, to the to the output uh, plug. The uh, actual circuit is this one. I'll move the camera around a little bit. Here you can see the uh, uh, crystal filter, which is uh, uh, with a band with a center frequency of 10.7 megahertz. This is the signal uh, coming in. Here's the uh, coupling capacitor. This is the uh, uh, the uh, little amplifier with uh, uh, emitter resistors and a bypass uh, coupling for AC. A coupling capacitor for the AM modulator. Here's the uh, uh, the capacitor and the resistor for the uh, AM uh, demodulator, and this is the output uh, transformer, which goes to the output uh, plug. Here I have a, uh, a separate uh, branch, so I can couple it uh, directly into my scope before the output uh, transformer. Today we will. Uh, uh, look at uh, some experiments which uh, we can uh, do uh, with this uh, uh, with this circuit. First, we will look uh, at uh, we will characterize this uh, um, bandpass uh, filter, which is used for the uh, slope uh, detection. And after that, uh, I will uh, show uh, the concept of uh, of transforming an AM modulated uh, signal to a uh, to an audio uh, signal. I will uh, connect uh, some uh, scope uh, now. All right. After some uh, fiddling with uh, scope, I have uh, uh, done all the settings uh, right. Um, you can see the scope is uh, connected uh, now to the base of the um, uh, transistor. Um, I have uh, put up uh, the signal generator, uh, which is here. Where is it? It's over there. To uh, supply a uh, frequency sweep for the uh, for the amplifier from 10.2 to 10.7 megahertz, which we can see on this scope here. 
So the uh, signal generator is uh, performing a, uh, a frequency sweep from 10.7 to 10. Point, uh, no, 10.2 uh, to 11.2 uh, megahertz, which is uh, exactly from the left of the screen to the right of the screen, 11.2. Uh, and uh, we will set up the scope to do a max hold uh, uh, FFT. I start the frequency sweep uh, now, and so we can uh, uh, visualize the frequency response of the. Uh, of the ceramic uh, resonator. It's uh, building up uh, gradually. This is the center frequency at uh, 10.7 megahertz. Well this is the frequency uh, response of the uh, uh, of the ceramic uh, filter. We will uh, keep this, uh, uh, this uh, response for later uh, use. I will put it in a uh, reference. Uh, re there it is. I have set up uh, the scope for the next uh, experiment. You can uh, see the uh, uh, first uh, channel, channel 1, is connected to the collector of the uh, amplifier, so this is uh, still the uh, um, FM and AM uh, modulated uh, signal. Channel 2 is over here, that's the, the purple uh, channel. It's uh, the output put of the AM uh, detector, which uh, should be uh, audio at uh, this uh, uh, point. I'm uh, feeding in uh, normal uh, music. I will uh, show the oscilloscope screen. Alright, this is the uh, view on the oscilloscope uh, screen. I will uh, let the music uh, sound. The yellow signal is the uh, AM and FM, uh, still a little bit uh, FM uh, modulated uh, signal. The uh, purple channel is the audio, which uh, writes uh, neatly on top of the uh, AM uh, modulated uh, signal. As you can see here, it follows the, uh, the signal, as you can see. And uh, I will uh, show the, uh, the spectrum again, not uh, max hold uh, of course uh, this time. I will average it and I will show the, uh, uh, the frequency response of the uh, of the frequency demodulator. Now uh, we can see the uh, uh, the signal the. And the channel 1, which is the uh, AM modulated uh, signal, as uh, shown in the, uh, in the uh, spectrum here, uh, together with the frequency response of the uh, crystal uh, filter. The center frequency is 10.7. Uh, uh, the intermediate frequency is uh, set to the default of 10.6 uh, uh, megahertz, which is uh, around uh, here. Here you see the highest uh, peak, and it is uh, uh, so it's uh, tuned on the slope of the uh, of the uh, frequency response of the uh, crystal uh, filter. The reason uh, this uh, level is uh, high as uh, this is uh, because the, any noise which is uh, uh, present in the in all signal it's is being amplified as well at uh, this uh, frequency up to its uh, max because that's the. Uh, peak of the uh, bandpass uh, filter. If I uh, move around the uh, uh, intermediate uh, frequency, you can see it uh, moving in the to the left. I, uh, I'm decreasing the uh, intermediate uh, frequency, and now and it also completely disappears. I will, I will uh, let you hear the audio, which is uh, really horrible now. 
and I slowly increase it uh, back up to the 10.6 megahertz. There it is on 10.6 megahertz. I can uh, still increase it. Things are dropping here. Uh, there we go. Uh, it's 10.6. I'm increasing it now. It's not uh, exactly on slope anymore, so it sounds pretty horrible now. 10.7. It still gives uh, some uh, response, but it's not uh, really good. And I will quickly move to 10.8 megahertz, where it is uh, now. And we're on the on the others on the other slope uh, now. We're here, and we get a better signal, uh, audio signal again. This is uh, nearly. This is 10.9. Sounds horrible again. There's uh, one other thing I would uh, like uh, to show you. This is the spectrum of the uh, channel 2, which is the uh, uh, the audio uh, signal, channel 2, which is from the center frequency at uh, 10 kilohertz with uh, 10, uh, 2 uh, kilohertz uh, per division, so that's from uh, uh, DC until uh, uh, 20 uh, kilohertz. Uh, this is the uh, audible uh, spectrum, uh, more or less, uh, until 10 uh, kilohertz. Uh, this is the music uh, you're uh, uh, you're hearing now. Well, actually, here it is. And um, this is the 19 kilohertz uh, uh, pilot uh, signal, which is uh, transmitted in uh, uh, wideband uh, FM uh, radio. Uh, luckily, it's uh, uh, far beyond uh, uh, my uh, <laughs> hearing uh, experience, so I can't uh, hear it because it's uh, it's a very strong uh, signal. If you would, would be able to hear uh, this, it would be uh, really annoying. But well, that's it uh, for uh, today. Uh, this was the section on the uh, demodulation. I hope uh, you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Bye.